Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, is going on a book tour, and the ladies on The View are eating it up. I watched while people were clapping. Some of the men did not clap mm -hmm. in this audience. Mm -hmm. To face those those people, the way they were looking and dealing with you, it, it, that is bravery under a whole different kind of fire. That's right. I applaud you on your courage and your bravery. But now Kavanaugh's former classmate, who Blasey Ford claims witnessed everything, is sitting down with Fox Nation, and he is skeptical of Blasey Ford's claims. So because you say you don't remember that event or anything about it, do you ever, in your heart of hearts, think, well, maybe she was telling the truth? Not really, because look at the context in which this came out. I think someone who was telling the truth about an issue like that would have approached it differently. Hey, let's drop this nuclear bomb on these people the day before the confirmation. That seems dishonest to me. This is almost six years after the Brett Kavanaugh was nominated and the ensuing confirmation process, Jason. Is anybody going to ask her, like, say, the Chuck Grassley's memo that was released in late 2018 that said the Senate and the FBI investigations found no evidence to substantiate any sexual assault allegations against Brett Kavanaugh, including the one made by Christine Blasey Ford? Um, I don't believe her. Uh, I didn't believe her then. Uh, you look at the Senate investigation, you look at the FBI investigation, you have no witnesses, you have nothing else to corroborate it. It's dropped a day before the confirmation vote. I, I think it was, I think the Senate did the right thing and put him on the bench. And I, I think he's an honorable man. Um, and I, I think it's a travesty what he went through to celebrate her now, the way they're doing it, I think it's disgusting. I, I want you to listen, um, Joe, to okay. this, another piece of sound from Mark Judge. And again, it kind of goes to the left, liberal campaign behind Christine Blasey Ford at the time. Listen mm -hmm. to this. In her initial letter describing what happened, I'm referred to as Mark G. Judge. Mark G. Judge is a byline I used as a journalist when I was younger. Nobody calls me Mark G. Judge. They call me Mark Judge unless you have researched my past and you found that. Dagan, Christine Blasey Ford said this was never about politics or publicity. And here she is with a book during an election year, 2024, and going on a tour talking about something that, let's put it this way, Brett Kavanaugh says she ne he never even met Christine Blasey Ford, <laughs> let alone was at a party. Yet our media, of course, is going to pick this up like The View. And by the way, let's stop calling them the ladies of The View because that implies class. All right. She'll go on all these shows and talk about something that no one can prove ever happened. There's zero evidence whatsoever. But if you accuse a conservative, in this case, Brett Kavanaugh, of something that happened, what are we talking about, 1982? How long ago was that? 42 years ago? And as long as you just make the accusation, well, that's good enough because he's on the wrong team, Dagan. Uh, what say you? Because I, I, my point was, this is long ago enough that people forget all of the evidence and testimony that was did not line up with what Christine Blasey Ford was claiming. Well, it, <clears throat> it, it was it was long ago, and I think uh, counter to what two of you have said in terms of the media seizing on it, the, the View definitely made a big deal about it, but I. I haven't heard that much about this at all, really. I think there's been, um, uh, it's been a little bit quieter. And it, this this does feel like so long ago. I remember Me Too was the issue of the day, overall. I mean, right. I'm not just talking about, about this instance, but overall, it was the Believe All Women, it was Me Too, and that was popular. During this time when she first came out with this, she was partying with Gwyneth Paltrow, she was having sleepovers with Oprah. I mean, it was... And now it, it seems a lot quieter than it was back then because then it was went from Me Too to I believe then, then you know race was the issue and and I just think as a, as a society the way we like seize onto these things and there's this fever pitch and then there were two other women that came forward that those were actually it wasn't well there's no evidence to prove it those those were disproven the one woman even said I made this up right so I think it's it's just. I feel like I'm in a time warp to remember where we are now versus where we were back then. I know the COVID in the middle, it kind of 
messes me up a little bit time-wise, like that really happened. But I think actually, comparatively, it's it's been quite quiet compared to the, the absolute fever pitch that it was at the time. Amen. And if you want to read, uh, Molly Hemingway um, co-wrote a book, Justice on Trial, and they go into a lot of the women who were critical uh, during the Kavanaugh hearing, including Leland Kaiser, who was Christine Blasey Ford's friend, under great pressure, she did not want Brett Kavanaugh to be named to the court. <clears throat> she is a liberal, but she, under great pressure, never changed her story. And she said, I cannot corroborate these claims by Christine Blasey Ford, who's my friend. There are a lot of women who stood up and told the truth. Watch Martha's full interview with Kavanaugh classmate Mark Judge right now, foxnation.com. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.